residents of Agape have come out in their numbers to protest the bad nature of the road. According to them, this bad road has been in this shape for quite a long time and it's affecting their livelihood. I'll speak to some of the residents who reside in this community and find out from them how they've been battling with the issue of deplorable roads. Madam, you are welcome to the city issue. Thank you very what much. What is your name? I'm Gifsi Sakite. Okay, how bad is this road? My brother, I came to stay in Agape for the past 10 years. The road is so bad that every month I have to go to shop. Every month I have to send my car to shop. What is it? I now sold to all constituencies. One of the biggest constituencies in Greater Accra. And we vote massively for MPP. So at least if there is no money or things are difficult, do something, just do something, just some gravel and things, and fill in the portals for us, for us to manage until you make or until you get money to fix the road. You understand? We are not saying that, oh, fix it, fix it, fix it. We are saying that fix it because at least we need to manage for some time. But when I came this morning, I've noticed that there are some gravels on the road. There's some gravel since when? When they heard that we were coming to do demonstration, and then yesterday they brought in these gravels. We are not fools, so we are not fools. 2024, we are waiting for them to come and campaign here. For how long have you stayed here? For more than 20 years. And has this road been like this since? Yes, yes. Just uh, uh, yesterday, they hearing that we are coming to do demonstration. They brought this ape of sand to on the road. But we are telling them we are not fools, so we are watching them very closely. So we are waiting for them. We know if they don't fix it, definitely they will come back to the constituency again. Can you tell me the challenge you go through because of this bad news? Yes, we have this record of people uh, 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 having miscarriages on this road several times. I know this woman. Sometimes I'm robbers to attack people on this road because of the road. I myself, I drive, I do drive. I've been to uh, uh, just every month, I have to send my car to workshop about four times, which is too much. We are voting, we pay taxes. Why? Fix our roads down. We are tired. I can't pay. One time, that's our road. One time, one time, okay. The protesters have resolved to make government hear their cry. They are holding placards with inscriptions such as Agape is part of Ghana. Agape lives matter. Also, we need development in Agape. Residents of Agape deserve better. Agape is bleeding. Fixing of our roads is long overdue. Agape is part of Ghana. Drivers are bred, among others. I will try and speak to some of the conveners of this particular demonstration and ask them what their measures are after they present a petition to the various authorities. So, yeah, welcome to the city issue. Thank you very much. What is your name? My name is Baba. Baba what? Baba Unisalifu. What do you have to tell me about today's decision to embark on a demonstration or a push for work for that matter? Okay, so so we have um, we we've had several conversations with past chief executive uh, working to and um, the previous MPs. We've spoken, we've spoken to the current MP. We just want to have want to have a negotiation. Want to sit with the key stakeholder. Want to see the road 
what's the what's the plan for agape mm, mm. is there a plan for us because as you can see there's nothing in agape yeah. there's nothing there's no public school in agape mm. There's nothing in Agape. Mm. Imagine if the high street is being fixed. Mm. See the number of businesses that will, will be lined up on this street. Mm. That would people will get money. It will also se serve as a source of income to the local assembly. So what we're doing is that they should come, they should come and meet us. We want a road map. We don't want a nature cup by just pouring gravels on the road. It doesn't help. So after after the demonstration, what next? Are there some plans you've outlined? Because Yep. Normally, after the demonstration, whether government will fix it or not, uh, it's not dependent on the demonstration. Very but true. what next? Very true. Very true. So, so yeah, after no after no this um, demonstration, we have a post-protest plan. Mm. So, we'll have a monthly press conference. That is one post this demonstration. Secondly, if we have three press conferences, we don't hear anything, we'll pick it at the assembly. In the next quarter, if nothing is done, we, yeah, have, to, to we have to go and see the central government. As our, as, as our MC, we would like to count on you to fix the road for us. We are available for negotiation. We we'll said we want to see the roadmap of Agape. Agape has been underdeveloped for far too long. All what we are saying is that we should get the Agape road fixed now. Thank you very much, MC. In his statement, he mentioned that they are open for negotiation. They should have come to my office first to meet with me for a discussion before embarking on this action. So, um, maybe they've started on the wrong foot. If they had come, I don't think this demonstration would have gone ahead. What the concerns you're also raising is several promises have been given and none of them have been fulfilled. What do you have to say about this? Uh, that is what they are saying. That is not what I am saying. I have not given them several promises. I'm telling them that the work has started on the road. It's not about promise. It's about reality. It's about actuals. You see heaps of double. I don't know what they are talking about that in the past. They attempted such a, a similar thing was done. I don't know, I'm not aware. What I know is that um, we are committed to ensure that the roads are more travel. But you took office not long ago, and maybe you would have to understand that maybe your predecessor um, put some measures in place before you got here. What were some of the measures that were put in place to fix the road? Measures. Uh, uh, it's all about awarding the contract and getting it done. And that's all. So the MC's people are not in support of what is happening. They just wish them away. They, ask, they, they, just, they just move them away. And you can hear from the background, the uh, residents are putting out of the MC. All what they are saying is that government must take the road. They are not excited and they are putting at the MC. It's so obvious that things as a are turning out how it should be. It's, it's so clear. You can hear the chanting of away behind me. the road and it should be done as soon as possible. Report to continue. My name is Philip Lee Lattie.